This year, a lot of new devices and software are coming to market that are able to interact with us using natural language, via voice or text input. Rather than us learning how to use them, they're starting to adapt to us. These conversational interfaces will power the next wave of computing as it spreads to our homes, our cars, and our bodies, dramatically altering search and discovery. Requests will be answered with just one option, powered by an algorithm that combines traditional search results and personal data. Soon devices and services that don't talk back will seem to be broken, and every brand will have a one-to-one -one communication channel with its customers. Pieces of the puzzle are coming together from both large tech companies and startups. Apple, Google, Facebook, and Amazon all have stakes in the game. Apple's Siri and Google's OK Google are built into iOS and Android, and are most consumers' first exposure to conversation with an artificial intelligence. Facebook is building tools inside of Messenger to reach users via the same channel and methods that they use to talk to their friends. Brands are starting to use Messenger to communicate one-to-one -one with customers for more than just customer service. Build is sending news updates, Universal is letting users chat with Doc Brown from Back to the Future, and others let you book a hotel room or receive travel itineraries and track shipments. Facebook's own virtual assistant, M, is currently in closed beta in San Francisco. M employs a combination of artificial intelligence and humans, allowing it to respond to almost any request. Users can ask M for a restaurant recommendation and reservation, help finding and purchasing gifts, reducing their cable bill, or more general questions like, what's the best hike nearby? Amazon's assistant, Alexa, first rolled out last year in their connected Bluetooth speaker, the Echo. By speaking with Alexa, the Echo can control your music, connected lights, kitchen timers, tell you the news and weather, or even read you a bedtime story from your Kindle library. With an active developer ecosystem, Alexa gains new skills every week and is quickly becoming a customer favorite. She's even getting into the car game, as Ford announced a partnership at CES to add Alexa to their entire line. Users can ask Alexa to start their car and check their gas or EV charge from the comfort of their living room, and drivers can talk to Alexa to control their connected home while they're on the road. Corporate messaging app Slack is growing quickly, partially thanks to the chatbots the developers can add to the platform. Most Slack bots, like Howdy and Nikabot, help teams automate common tasks, like managing meetings with roll calls and status updates. Other tools like Birdly allow you to tap into CRM databases like Salesforce so you can grab customer history without ever leaving Slack. Watson, along with tools from SoundHound, Message.ai, Fluent.ai, and others, allow even small companies to build conversational interfaces into their products, like these 3D printed talking dinosaurs from Elemental Path. Can you count to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And Oakley has a new pair of sunglasses that can talk to you as you work out to keep you updated on your fitness stats via voice command. In order to thrive in this conversational world, brands will need to focus on developing a new voice, bringing their brand to life in a highly personal way. They also need to partner and sponsor smartly to ensure consumers find them as we move past a search page of 10 results to a voice or text response of one. Succeeding at both will pay off in customer loyalty and visibility on these emerging platforms for conversational interfaces.